sometimes we all just need to let loose. <laughs> that even includes lemurs. Instead of heading down to their local watering hole for a casual after-work beverage, they chomp down on millipedes. After consuming some toxin, the lemurs appear chilled out and relaxed. But there is a reason they do this. One of the chemicals on the skin of the millipede is benzoquinone. It gets the lemurs high, but also helps keep bugs off them, kind of like an insecticide. The lemurs lick a millipede and then transfer the toxin onto their fur. And once finished, they let the millipede go to fight another day. Who knows if the lemurs are doing this to intentionally get a buzz on or to get some good bug repellent? Or maybe it's both? Think that's weird? These animals have some of the wildest ways to party. From magic mushrooms to puff puff passing a puffer fish. Think you can keep up? I'm sure you can. Christmas always comes early for these reindeer. We don't know whether or not reindeer get high from eating this special kind of mushroom, but what we do know is they are definitely hallucinogenic. But they do like eating them. They even dig through snow to find them. The mushroom is called Amanita muscaria and has been used in indigenous ceremonies that coincide with the winter solstice and Christmas. So maybe there is a link to how Santa could fly around the world in a single night. His reindeer were on one hell of a trip. You've probably seen how cats react to catnip, like it's the best thing in the world. Well, jaguars have their own version of catnip. It's called yahe, and it's a green vine that grows deep in the Amazon. Just like their domestic relations, jaguars will act all kittenish and playful after eating it. But researchers say it's not all for play. The jaguars may consume it to heighten their hunting skills. And the Tucano people believe that too. They use the vine to brew a strong tea to be more like the jaguar and help their hunting. Yahe contains powerful chemicals similar to antidepressants, helping to elevate their senses during religious rituals for an extra visionary experience. So you can't really blame the jaguars for having a good time. Our next party animals are really just that. These are vervet monkeys, and they like to get down with the tourists on St. Kitts. Like all good monkeys do, they just love annoying visitors. And these vervet monkeys are no different. Stealing sips from cocktails, they will run around looking for their next drink. And it's not like the tourists have encouraged all this binge drinking. Historically, the monkeys got their alcohol fix from chewing on fermented sugar cane from rum distilleries. It's also been observed that 12% of them show signs of what can be described as excessive drinking practices. So just like some of us, they rather enjoy having one too many. And last up are the dolphins, who are getting stoned from pufferfish. First seen in the Azores in 1995, there was a report of several dolphins appearing dazed and with less energy passing around a pufferfish. They weren't eating it, but just playfully handing it off to each other. It turns out they were just having a right old time getting stoned out of their minds on a neurotoxin the pufferfish gives off when it feels threatened. Just like the other creatures in this episode, dolphins like to have some fun too. If you liked this episode, why not check out how people are smoking cane toad venom to get high? These animals like to indulge in a little something something and do it just for kicks. And that's what makes them crazy creatures.